I think it's right to to suggest that civil society is really under attack, uh, and especially in in um, uh, at the global level, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, when we are recording more democratic societies, you will expect that civil society will flourish. Uh, in Ghana, uh, we can't talk about civil society being under attack. I think we can talk of the political space that exists in Ghana for civil society to engage. Uh, Ghana government do recognize uh, civil society as partners to development uh, and therefore invite civil society and have created the enabling political environment for civil society to flourish. Uh, unfortunately, I think the capacity of some civil society actors need to be uh, recognized, that the capacity level is low uh, and therefore, even if there is space to engage, uh, because you don't have that capacity to engage, uh, there's some kind of limitation for civil society to engage. Uh, so from a Ghanaian perspective, I would say that uh, we do have the political space. There are no indications that uh, governments uh, seek to attack civil society or to limit civil society uh, participation. Uh, however, I think there are sometimes ways that uh, civil society uh, are not recognized or are not invited to participate in certain policy level decision making processes. This is not to say that civil society is under, under attack. I think sometimes it is uh, the actions and inactions of government uh, to recognize where we come in. But um, Ghanaian civil society is vibrant and I think that's a plus to democracy in Ghana.